Welcome back to the channel. Very tight crawl space. Lots of humidity under here. In an ideal world, we would air seal this crawl space, but that's just not in the budget. And it's so tight, I'm not gonna be able to find anyone in the area to crawl underneath here. You can see we are uh, just over one block high. So we're about one and a half blocks high. And uh, I'm not the smallest person in the world. So yeah, my back is pretty much against the floor joists at all time. Very tight area. But what we're gonna do to kind of remediate some of that um, moisture intrusion or, or humidity is increase airflow. So that's how we do it. We increase airflow. The first step of that process was taking out all of the old unused ductwork and insulation. We're in the hot, humid South. We do not insulate our crawl spaces. If someone sells you insulation for the crawl space, um, they took your money because it's never going to pay back. In fact, it's going to cause problems. It's going to hold and trap humidity and moisture. So what we're going to do is we've got all of our crawl space vents open and now we're going to install this crawl space ventilation fan. Got it on Amazon for about a hundred bucks, something like that. Here, you want to take that out? Okay. Um, I've got it just an extension cord ran from a receptacle next to the crawl space hole. I'll show you that later. But first of all, I've got to put in some of these filler strips. I'm ready, Kay, when you are. Huh? All right, fantastic. So the reason I'm doing this, putting this filler strip in, is because the blocks are hanging over the rim joist about three quarter of an inch. So we're installing this treated piece of half inch plywood and that's gonna house our fan. Um, there you go. Now it should hopefully stay still. I think right there ish. So she's plugged in, air sealed the best I can so that it's just pulling air from the crawl space vent, not from around it. I think it's gonna be just fine. <laughs> 